Hello everybody, this is Xenocat82543, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. And uh, in this part, uh, last time we killed some a new boss, so we're going to take a look at the stats. The defense node has 5,000 hit points. That's just it. The attack node also has 5,000 hit points. They have the same stats, but they just do different things. CPU, 33,000 hit points. Very high strength stat. It doesn't attack. A uh, very pretty decent magic attack. Attack stat does not attack. Pretty sure those were just like copied over. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving on. And keep on moving. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not taking damage. Hold up. There's technically new enemies in here. I think they also spawn on the next floor, but like we're gonna take them here. Armored Fiend! It's a new enemy. Quake. Quake. We got Moon Maiden as well. Moon Maiden's new. Goodbye, uh... That one. Whoever... Uh, Dark Sage. Dark Sage is gone. We don't need Dark Sage. Quake. Doing a lot of damage to Armored Fiend. Moon Maiden, not so much. Moon Maiden's strong. We're gonna whittle away at Armored Fiend, though. Try to get rid of him. Now, Moon Maiden... Uh, you just defend, you attack, you attack. We're gonna go all out attacking on Moon Maiden. She can't have that much help. Yeah, Moon Maiden's gone. We got a Minerva bust here? That's really good. That is really good. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I was a little loud there. Uh, but oh my goodness, that's a ridiculously good drop. Almost so good that I kind of am debating not using it, because it's a little bit overpowered. So yeah, they can drop Holy Arrows, Lunar Curtains, the Minerva Bustier, or the Artemis Bow. Uh, Artemis Bows would also be very overpowered. But we don't need the Artemis Bow to make them overpowered. That's the Moon Maiden, 123. Uh, 130 down here is the Armored Fiend. It can drop Cottages, Ogre Killer, Poison Axe, or Rune Axe. It is a giant. Uh, those are our two new enemies here. Real quick, I am going to make some changes. I know we had the white robe on. We're going to use the Minerva Bust here. What that does is it will tank Rosa's healing. So Rosa's not going to be a good healer. Unfortunately. That's just how it is. She's not going to be a great healer. But, look at her speed. Look at her strength. Look at her stamina. She's now an extra attacker. Like, she's now perfectly capable of doing good damage. So we can't go through those. Uh, let's go left first. I'm always team left. We're gonna run away from things, because uh, Rosa is not a good healer right now. Ah... And there's only one new enemy here. Stick to the left. I don't like Dark Sage. Thank you. Thank you for missing. Yeah, stick to the left. Oh, this is our new enemy. Hold up. I probably want to take your weapon and change it. You can aim now. We're going to be self-summoning everything. Rosa can actually do damage. About as much as Golbez. Yeah, Rosa's now doing dam doing Golbez levels of damage. So, yeah, she's pretty good. That Minerva Bustier is really strong. Uh, you can't... Okay, that's not great. I don't like that we didn't get to heal. 
Uh, Edge, you should probably switch back to your actual weapon. Turn yourself to Gold Dragon. We're gonna have you quake. Can we steal HP from things? I'm gonna guess no. Bone Dragon, we've seen them before. It's just a purple Bone Dragon. We've, you know, we've fought them. We can. It will inflict hold. Uh, Rosa's immune to this. Fortunately. But, uh, yeah. Gold Dragon will inflict hold. That's the thing it does. Rosa cannot be held. There's no stopping her. Poison's not great, but, yeah. Rosa, no stopping her. She's just going. I have been using this for too long. Let's swap back to, uh... You can use the God Hand. Edge can use the God Hand. This is something I didn't think was possible. But it is. Um... I want... Yeah, that's fine. Right in here. There's another new enemy in here. Ah, uh, yes, this is this floor. I know what this floor is now. We need to go to both towers anyway, so we're gonna go to this tower first. Because this tower is a little less spooky. Can we not? Oh yeah, thanks for healing Edge, actually. I forgot Edge absorbs fire. Because why not? I do like the design of this floor. The aesthetic is very cool. Another Fuma Shuriken. Not the most exciting. Let's get out of here, please. Thank you. Uh, so for this next fight, I may not want... Rosa on Zerker setup. Because it's fun to Zerk Rosa and all, but. Mm. You know what I probably don't want? What I probably really don't want? A full moon. The full moon is not the best moon phase for this. Uh, why is there. I'm gonna go into the tower. Thank you. I'm gonna take a cottage here. Because Waning Moon should be fine. I don't think Leviathan will use any physical attacks. And I want my physical attack to be good. Uh, let's give you the, uh, not the God Hand, but Lightning Claws, because Leviathan is weak to Lightning. We all know this. I really hope Edge isn't weak to ice, for some silly reason. We're gonna come here. Uh, bring Radio for this. That would be that's generally a good idea. We found the Eidolon King. It's boss time. Thanks for the three thousand damage. Your job is to cast Berserk on people. Your job is to heal. You're going to lay on the pressure with Thundagas. Golbez can do that. Rydia's on healing duty. Rose's job is to get people swinging, which is mostly Edge and Kane and then herself. But mostly Edge and Kane. Okay, we cannot heal with Sylph. That's not great. Uh, this could be very bad. Very fast. If Sylph is not working, yeah. Kind of hoping Sylph would work. It does not work. Therefore, we have no healing. Go Edge. We're just gonna DPS this, right? Uh, just DPS it down. Just DPS down. Just DPS Leviathan down. <laughs> 
Just do all the damage. I'm gonna just YOLO this fight. I'm just YOLOing this fight. I mean, it should be based on his HP, I think. Wazaga might hurt, but it won't hurt Kane too badly. Kane has uh, ice resistance. That is very manageable. Yeah, we're gonna keep just YOLOing this fight. It's fine. Thanks, Rosa, for 2,000 damage. Jeez. Rosa actually being a competent uh, fighter. Go, Rydia. Edge does so much damage. Edge is just too powerful. We did it. I don't think you can fail this. He will... I mean, you can wipe, but... You can't kill Leviathan. Leviathan will join you. Yay. You're back, Leviathan. We saved you. And we can now summon Leviathan. That is going to be helpful. Not super helpful against the next boss, but helpful nonetheless. Uh, for the next boss, actually, what I want to do is grab that. Uh, Mystic Whip, probably not going to use. That is a strong whip. That is a very strong whip. Do I have silencing? I don't have those here. Oh, no, I have... Oh, I, but I do have this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to plan out my thing. I think protectoring is fine. Actually, I want rune armlets on everyone. I like the rare band on you. We'll give you... We will give you the ribbon. Yeah, you have an Aegis Shield. You don't need that. Uh, you can have something like a Genji Helm or whatever. We're gonna give you the ribbon. This is all planning for the next fight, by the way. Do not have a rune axe, so this is fine. Gungnir is fine. Uh, but you need some sort of mage defense. Uh, do you don't? We don't have a spare shield for you. That's just gonna have to be fine. Uh, you, I believe, can wear the rune armlet, right? Yes, good. We need the rune armlet. Rune armlets are very important. And we're gonna give you the mage masher. All of that will be helpful. I'm gonna head out this way. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go through the north one. I'm gonna run away from this fight. No, thank you. I guess I... I think I do want to go to the next... Yeah, I think I do want to go to New Moon. For what's coming up. I'm heading to this tower. I will check out the right side of this floor in a bit. Yeah, I think we should use a cottage. And just one cottage. And I think New Moon will be fine. Uh, we should go over the boss that we just beat, actually, before we take on this one. I have, I've done all my setup. But the boss we just beat... Uh, well, first we have Gold Dragon 1. That, that That's what it is. We beat Leviathan 2. 72,000 hit points. Uh, just chewed through that real fast. It's weak to lightning. That's why I use lightning. Now, hopefully, my uh, memory is correct, and uh, you. this is a mage. Uh, I've equipped a bunch of mage-resistant gear on everyone. Uh, Gold, everyone but Kane is currently equipped, decked out with mage resistance. You can't wear a rune ring by any chance, can you? Or a rune armlet? You can wear a rune armlet, so actually, I'm going to steal your shield. Yeah, we're going to do that real quick. That'll make it so that uh, everyone now will take less damage from her punches. And we're going to head in here. We have found the queen. 
It's boss time again. White magic is down, but do I care? Nah, we're gonna berserk you. Just you. We're gonna summon Leviathan. You're gonna defend. I don't want to trigger any more counters than I need to. Uh, Kane does 4200 damage. He's not bad, but, you know, she punches. I'm kind of just going to hope that I can weather the punches. Now that I'm not on a waning moon. Go Leviathan! We, we beat Leviathan first, so we're going to use Leviathan to beat Asura, hopefully. That'll do some damage, right? Yeah, 7,500 damage. That's that's pretty strong. And yeah, we can tank these punches. Edge is doing a good 4,000 damage a swing, which is definitely not bad. Kiraga is fine. I don't mind that. No, what I want to do with you is just berserk you up. Because I believe with the Elfin Bow, uh, Rosa will do extra damage. Kiraga is fine. It's a little annoying having to fight through the 2300 HP. But that should be fine. I guess you can use like an X Potion on Kane when he comes down or something. Leviathan, come back. We're just going to keep spamming this. I just healed, so you know. Not really a harm in it. And the next moon we need is full, so we're going to have to cycle a bit around anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Rosa doing pretty good work. Uh, 1,600 damage. I don't think the Elven Bow is getting any bonuses, unfortunately. I'm going to X-Potion you. Just to, you know, make sure Kane stays up. Edge doing real good work. Oh. <laughs> well, for defeating the Eidolon King, we get an extra little cutscene here. I've been summoning you, but, I mean... Aw. I'm gonna keep summoning. Oh, goodness. Stop hitting him. Go, Tidal Wave. We're still summoning Leviathan. <laughs> Leviathan is very powerful. So, may as well do this. It's fine. Kobez will heal himself or something. Oh, you're punching multiple times now. That's rude. Come on. How much HP do you have, Asura? Rosa being berserked is not ideal. Although, that, was, that did it. We win. There's a level for everyone but Kane. Yay! We saved the queen. No, this is sweet. And now we get extra healing from Rydia, Ry so, uh... Basically... Rosa is going to be going burr for the rest of this game, probably. Let's make sure you have the proper bow back. Oh, I get a second one. See, but I don't want a second one. I'm 
gonna do this real quick just to heal up before we go to explore the rest of this floor. Because the next enemy that we need is a full moon. Is on the full moon anyway. We're gonna explore here. Don't need to fight you. Though there is a new enemy in here. Now that I remember it. Or there should be. There should be a new enemy in this interior area. Not any of these though. Right? This is the interior. I mean, this is the exterior, clearly. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find this enemy. There it is. Hello, Silver Dragon. You're gonna be rude, I can tell. We're gonna stick to Sylph for now. The Sylphs are cheaper than... The Sylphs are much cheaper than Asura or Leviathan, so... We're gonna stick with them, because they're still pretty good. Just general healing, if the enemy doesn't have too much magic defense, which this one might. This one does not. Nice. We're gonna keep chopping away. I did not mean to have the Mage Master still equipped. We should take that off. Hold on. You don't need the Mage Master anymore. Uh, I don't really need the Mage Gear the way it is, but I'm honestly going to leave it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the Mage Gear as it is. So let's see, right now your intellect is 74. What happens if I do that? I'm sure it goes... It doesn't go down. Oh. Hold on. So if I have you like that... You know, like 74. What happens if I do this? That does drop it. Okay. That's not okay. I'm not going to drop it down. Uh, I do want the gold hairpin back on, though, because that'll boost your intellect even more. So you can have your ribbon back. I suppose. That'll be fine. Uh, there was... I... I'm, I think I want to go back and camp. Hmm. I want to just explore this outside area real quick. We'll try to get the last, like, full moon exclusive enemy on the way out. But yeah, we've almost made it through this area. A lunar curtain is nice. Yeah, I'm just going to check to make sure this is all symmetrical. But yeah, we're we're getting pretty far down this lunar subterrain. As you might be able to tell. Uh, Rydia, can you not die? That would be nice. Oh no, can we stop? Just no more encounters, please. I'm just trying to walk. Do I have to get into a back attack every three steps? Oh my goodness, it takes forever to run away from those things. Get out of there, seriously. I think the bottom is just a connector. Yeah, okay. So that all just loops. Cool. It's all just one big loop. We're going to go back into a service tower, rest up,
because I would like to nap. Jeez. Why does it take so long to run away from those things? I want to know. Send me back to Asura's Tower. Oh my goodness. I don't need to fight you again, Silver Dragon. Uh, we should take a look at Silver Dragon, though. There's Silver Dragon. That's it. It's a dragon. Please, let me out. Rip Rydia. It's fine, I'm gonna use a cabin anyway. Or a cottage. Because we have one last enemy to find. Real quick. Goodness, if only I had Artemis arrows. If I had some of those, oh my goodness, that would be spectacular, but I don't. We can't have dragon killing gear already. That's too that's too much. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a grind for encounters right here. On the full moon. More owl. Oh gosh. You can still heal somewhat at least. But oh my goodness. No! No more back attacks from this encounter. I swear. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to fight them. I don't want that gold dragon. That is the wrong gold dragon. Can I stop getting back attacked, please? Why does everything get a back attack on me? Probably because I've been running away from pretty much everything. Except the new enemies, which I've been taking on like once. But so far it's been fine. Like, I've been able to fight everything. No problem. I just want to find this one last new enemy. And then we'll be ready to dive into the next floor. Which has a lot of the same enemies as this floor. It's just, uh, another floor. Can we not can can we can we not have back attacks anymore please all I want is for there to not be any more back attacks from large groups of enemies that would be nice of course when it's one enemy I don't get back attacked but when it's three enemies I do that's just how it works or when it's an armored fiend I just get back attacked every time because why not? I love taking punches to the pace. You know? I love trying to find an encounter and then just continuously finding the wrong encounter and taking a punch every time. Real fun. Where the heck is this encounter? Also, ambushes are no better than back attacks. I mean, they're slightly better, but I'm not really. Now I have to heal Golbez up. Like, I'm really chewing through my MP here. And my patience.
No! I mean, that's fine. Yes, you can do that. But that's not good, and that is not good. Don't do those. Can you just, for once, not do that? No! Stop get, getting back attacks on me. I don't like it. Especially when your back attacks take forever to run away from. Oh my goodness. Just let me find the correct enemy. I've been looking for five minutes. It, it should not take this long. It also should not take this many bad encounters. I should not be getting this many ambushes and back attacks. Oh my goodness, where the heck is this thing? I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. And I have the right moon phase. So this is just this enemy being a troll and not showing up. Also, it takes like 2,000 gil to run away from everything here. Like, why? Why do you take that much money from me? Not that I need money, but it's just annoying. That was 3,000 gil to run away from that encounter. It takes so much... They just all take so much money. Come on. Where are you? I know you're here! Please! I know I can encounter this special gold dragon here, but it's not showing up. Yeah, no, it's not. No, I'm pretty sure it's this area. Unless it's like up here. This might be it, but I don't think this is the correct area. Yeah, this feels like an interior area, and it says exterior. It's not in the first section of exterior, it's in this section of exterior. Ugh, I hate, I hate finding encounters. I swear. I think I'm gonna just meet you all when I find this encounter at this point, because I have taken... Almost 10 minutes looking for this encounter and finding nothing. I'll see you then.